Did you know that over 30,000 websites are hacked every day? As a web developer or security professional, staying ahead of security risks is crucial to protecting your applications and users. In this video, we're diving into the OWASP Top 10, the most critical security risks that you need to know about when building and securing web applications. By the end, you'll have a clear understanding of the biggest threats and how to protect against them. Part 1. What is OWASP? Before we get into the top 10, let's quickly explain what OWASP is. OWASP stands for the Open Web Application Security Project. It's a nonprofit organization that provides free resources for improving the security of software. The OWASP Top 10 is a list that highlights the most critical security risks for web applications. It's a starting point for building secure applications, and developers and organizations worldwide use it as a benchmark for security best practices. Now let's dive into the OWASP Top 10 Security Risks and what each one means for your web applications. Part 2. AO1 Broken Access Control what is broken access control? Access control determines what authenticated users are allowed to do. When these controls are improperly configured, users can gain unauthorized access to restricted areas or perform actions outside of their intended permissions. Example. Imagine a user on an e-commerce site being able to modify the order details of another customer just by changing the order ID in the URL. This happens because the application doesn't verify whether the user has permission to access that order. How to prevent it? 1. Implement Role-Based Access Control RBAC, to enforce strict access levels for each user. 2. Use server-side validation to ensure that users can only perform actions they are authorized to perform. 3. Regularly test your access control systems and ensure that sensitive areas are protected. Part 3. AO2. Cryptographic Failure What are cryptographic failures? Cryptographic failures occur when sensitive data, such as passwords, credit card numbers, or health records, is not properly protected. This includes using weak encryption algorithms or failing to encrypt data at all. Example. Storing passwords in plain text is a common cryptographic failure. If your database gets compromised, all the user's passwords are exposed. How to prevent it? 1. Always encrypt sensitive data both at rest and in transit. 2. Use strong encryption algorithms, such as AES for data encryption and RSA or ECC for public key encryption. 3. Avoid outdated cryptographic practices like MD5 or SHA1 for hashing passwords. 3. Use bcrypt or argon2 instead. Part 4. AO3 Injection What is injection? Injection flaws occur when untrusted data is sent to a web application as part of a command or query. The most common type is SQL injection, where an attacker inserts malicious SQL code into a query. Example. If a login form is vulnerable, an attacker could enter a SQL command instead of a username and password, potentially gaining full access to the database. How to prevent it? 1. Use prepared statements and parameterized queries to ensure user input is never directly executed in a query. 2. Validate and sanitize all user inputs to block harmful characters and commands. 3. Use ORM, Object Relational Mapping Libraries, to abstract away the SQL code from the application. Part 5, AO4, Insecure Design. What is insecure design? Insecure design refers to a lack of security-focused thinking when designing a system. This can lead to vulnerabilities at both the architecture and code levels. Security should be part of the design process, not an afterthought. Example, not designing features with security in mind, such as failing to implement account lockout after repeated failed login attempts. How to prevent it 1. Incorporate threat modeling and security design principles in the early stages of development. 2. Apply secure design patterns, such as ensuring user input is validated in every step of an application's workflow. 3. Regularly review and update your design processes to include new security risks. Part 6. A05. Security Misconfiguration What is security misconfiguration? Security misconfiguration occurs when a web application or server is not properly configured, leaving it exposed to attackers. This could involve leaving default credentials in place, failing to disable unnecessary features, or not properly securing cloud infrastructure. Example. Leaving default passwords like admin or password on database management systems, or exposing an unsecured admin dashboard. How to prevent it. 1. Remove or disable unnecessary services, features, or ports. 2. Regularly update software and patch vulnerabilities. 3. Automate configuration reviews using tools like Ansible or Terraform to ensure consistent, secure setups. Part 7. AO6. Vulnerable and outdated components. What are vulnerable and outdated components? Many web applications rely on third-party libraries and components. If these are outdated or contain known vulnerabilities, attackers can exploit them to compromise the application. Example. 
a web application uses an old version of Apache struts that contains a critical security flaw. Attackers can exploit this to gain access to the application. How to prevent it? 1. Keep all dependencies and libraries up to date. 1. Use tools like Dependabot or NPM Audit to identify outdated components. 2. Monitor for security patches and apply them as soon as possible. 3. Use vulnerability management tools to scan for and mitigate risks in third-party software. Part 8. A07. Identification and Authentication Failures What are identification and authentication failures? These vulnerabilities arise when systems fail to properly authenticate and validate users. This can include weak passwords, improper session management, or bypassing multi-factor authentication. Example, allowing users to use weak passwords like 123456, or failing to enforce session timeouts after periods of inactivity. How to prevent it? 1. Use strong password policies and enforce multi-factor authentication, MFA. 2. Implement secure session management techniques, such as using cookies with HTTP only, and secure flags. 3. Regularly test authentication mechanisms for weaknesses. Part 9. A08. Software and data integrity failures. What are software and data integrity failures? These occur when applications rely on untrusted software updates, plugins, or libraries. This allows attackers to inject malicious code into the system or tamper with sensitive data. Example. Using an unsecured content delivery network, CDN, to deliver JavaScript libraries, allowing an attacker to inject malware. How to prevent it? 1. Use signed updates to ensure that any external software or libraries have not been tampered with. 2. Regularly audit your software supply chain to identify any vulnerabilities or compromises. 3. Implement integrity checks and monitoring for critical files and data. Part 10. A09. Security logging and monitoring failures. What are security logging and monitoring failures? Failure to log and monitor critical actions in an application can make it difficult to detect breaches and respond to them in a timely manner. Proper logging is essential for identifying suspicious activities. Example, a data breach occurs, but the company is unaware for weeks because no logging or monitoring systems were in place to detect the intrusion. How to prevent it? 1. Implement robust logging practices to record key events such as logins, failed login attempts, and changes to user permissions. 2. Regularly monitor logs using a Security Information and Event Management CM system. 3. Set up alert systems to notify administrators of unusual activities or potential breaches in real time. Part 11. A10. Server-side request forgery. What is server-side request forgery? SSRF. SSRF occurs when an attacker manipulates a server to make unauthorized requests to internal or external systems. This can expose sensitive information or allow attackers to bypass firewalls and access internal services. Example. An attacker tricks the server into making an HTTP request to a sensitive internal service, such as a metadata service in a cloud environment, which exposes private data. How to prevent it? 1. Restrict outgoing requests from the web application to trusted networks and hosts. 2. Validate and sanitize user inputs that may be used in server-side requests. 3. Implement firewall rules to block unauthorized internal traffic. Conclusion There you have it. The OWASP Top 10 Vulnerabilities Explained. These risks represent the most common and critical threats to web applications today. Understanding them is the first step in building more secure software. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more in-depth tutorials on how to implement security best practices and protect your web applications from the latest threats.